माय फेलो अमेरिकन्स एंड ऑल सिटीजेंस भॉयड ऑफ नाइन इलेवन पब्लिक इन्वेस्टिगेशन बेस्ड ऑन माय नाइन इयर्स ऑफ एक्सटेंसिव रिसर्च आई हैव प्रूव्ड बेस्ड ऑन सर्कमस्टेंशियल एविडेंसेस दैट देर वर नो फिजिकल हाइजेकर्स ऑन नाइन इलेवन अटैक all planes were hijacked remotely and by the military then i proved 911 attack was a military coup then i proved fbi and cia were the main masterminders and perpetrators for the success of the uninterrupted military coup on 911 then i proved world trade center was demolished on 911 with strategic bombs and how and who were involved in the masterminding of the demolition now in this article we will see that the anthrax attack following the 911 attack was also military and fbi activities just to terrorize americans and all citizens as well as disrupt the 911 investigation process article anthrax attack was it a backup military option just in case the coordinated remote hijackings and demolitions plan failed quote Judicial Watch wants to know why White House went on CIPRO beginning September 11th. What was known and when? Unquote. June 7, 2002, Judicial Watch press release. Chairman and General Counsel Larry Clement. Related article, New Pearl Harbor. Back to anthrax. Anyone who doubts about the pre knowledge of 911 among competent authorities inside us administration department of transportation federal emergency management agency fema central intelligence agency cia federal bureau of investigation fbi federal aviation authority faa pentagon as well as key personnel in senate and congress must know that the anthrax deterrent cipro was delivered to the white house on september 10 2001 one day prior to 911 attack on it, on the united states of america in anticipation of a massive biological attack on the new york city and the washington dc area and fema along with new york city emergency response team were all ready on september 10 2001 for that anticipated massive attack in the guise of emergency drill scheduled on September 12, 2001 the question remains who sent the letters containing us military grade anthrax spores to then senate majority leader tom dashell and senate judiciary committee chairman patrick lehi after 911 especially considering that the senators would be the custodians of the 911 investigation which both the president bush and vice president cheney were dead against and why and how the attackers would use us military grade anthrax spores quote we believe that the white house knew or had a reason to know that an anthrax attack was imminent or underway unquote larry clemen Anyone with self-interest can send a letter faking as Islamic militant as a convenient scapegoat. Quote, material that is readily airborne is weapons grade. Only someone with a connection to an existing or a former bioweapons program could produce aerosolized anthrax, unquote. Richard Spatzel, former head of the United Nations Biological Inspection Team in Iraq. 9/11 destroyed the New York City Emergency Command Center housed in WTC7 and the bioterror drill preparation ended up 
with real emergency rescue operation after the W2C Airlines crashes and subsequent demolitions of the towers. But the bioterror never happened in USA as anticipated instead of selective mails containing the US military anthrax force to responsible people in the government and the media as warnings to derail 9-11 fact-finding investigations while creating an atmosphere of fear around the nation. Furthermore, FBI, by now the main suspect of 9-11 masterminding, took charges of all anthrax-related sites, including postal stations, depriving Center of Disease Control, CDC, from testing the affected sorting machines. Thus, the clearance by FBI of a sorting machine, still affected with deadly spores, led to many more infections among postal employees who were attending the machine as well as mail receivers, generating more anthrax fear around the USA and the world. Jake Wagman of the Philadelphia Inquirer reported, quote, a CDC industrial hygienist testified that he and his group were not allowed in the building while the FBI conducted its test. And it was later revealed that the wrong mail sorter had been decontaminated, leaving equipment identified as carrying anthrax in operation for three days. Dozens of employees used it to sort millions of pieces of mail." Unquote. Quote, the American people deserve a full accounting from the Bush administration, the FBI, and other agencies concerning the anthrax attack. The FBI's investigation seems to have dead-ended, and frankly, that is not very reassuring, given their performance with the September 11th hijackers. One doesn't simply start taking a powerful antibiotic for no good reason. The American people are entitled to know why the White House staffers knew nine months ago." Unquote. Judicial Watch Chairman and General Counsel Larry Clement. Thus, void of an open, honest government investigation into 9-11 and the follow-up anthrax terror inside USA, it can be speculated that the United perpetrators of the new Pearl Harbor had a backup plan of terrorizing U.S. citizens just in case the remote control flight terminations into WTC and Pentagon failed while the demolition bombs already damaged WTC and part of Pentagon. The disturbing question keeps on bothering. Can a government intentionally harm its own subjects or citizens? Well, the answer is yes, when national security means well-guarded secrecy under military and covert intelligence operatives running black budget without transparent accountabilities. Here is a British example. The BBC online reported on August 24, 2001 that proton down scientists at the Defence Centre exposed 20,000 volunteers to nerve gas and other chemical and biological agents. Some volunteers believed they were helping find a cure for the common cold. The police had discovered an unusually high death rate among the volunteers, rather British subjects. Quote, the optimal U.S. weaponization process is secret. It involves a combination of chemicals. There is no evidence that any other country possesses the formula, unquote. Bill Patrick, inventor who holds five secret patents on the process. Then what is the origin of the anthrax spores? Dr. Rosenberg seems to have the answer. Quote, a genetic analysis conducted at Northern Arizona University excluded three academic institutions and two foreign defense laboratories, placing the focus on USA MRID, Fort Detrick, Dagoe, and Batede as the source of the AIM strain for the latest. Unquote. In a speech at the Woodrow Wilson School of Public and International Affairs at Princeton University, Dr. Rosenberg said, quote, We can draw a likely portrait 
of the perpetrator as a former Ford Detrick scientist who now working for a contractor in the Washington DC area. He had reason for travel to Florida, New Jersey and the United Kingdom." Unquote. Who gains from this kind of secretive attacks? Well, the direct benefit of WTC demolitions went to the Silverstein properties and the Westfield America, who harvested $4.55 billion as insurance money compared to less than a billion they paid for the private lease of 99 years. Also, the short sellers of stocks on 9-11 targets and related companies, Pentagon and their private defense contractors, along with the evangelical NATO power that gaining more security around the world from the war on terror. Similarly, quote, the perpetrator must have realized in advance that the anthrax attack would result in the strengthening of U.S. defense and response capabilities. This is not likely to have been a goal of anti-American terrorists, who would also be unlikely to warn the victims in advance. Perhaps the perpetrator stood to gain in some way from increased funding and recognition for biodefense programs. Financial beneficiaries would include the Bioport Corp, the source of the U.S. anthrax vaccine, and other potential vaccine contractors." Unquote. In July 2000, Germany's Bayer AG had negotiated an unprecedented sole endorsement by the Federal Drug Administration FDA, of Cipro for anthrax, despite Cipro's high price and largely untested status, one animal study for anthrax treatment in 1993. CIPRO sales rose by 1,000% since anthrax attack, and the Bush administration awarded an exclusive health and human services contract to the pharmaceutical giant. A controversial anthrax vaccine was already being produced by Bioport Corporation. Bioport, as well as Batele, which first reported a false negative for its test of the Dassel letter, works closely with American intelligence and defense officials on classified programs. Both firms have connections with the U.S. Army Dagoe Proving Ground, which admitted in December 2001 that the Army facility in Utah Desert has produced weapons-grade anthrax. Although the government had supposedly ended the offensive biological weapons program in 1969, Dr. Rosenberg maintains, quote, the FBI knows that anthrax attack was an inside job, unquote. The attack also helped FBI to disrupt U.S. mailing system for 9-11 censorship. Related article, how criminal were FBI's radical fundamentalist unit and CIA for the success of the uninterrupted military coup by the loyalists. On September 11, 2001, quote, the White House staff, including then President George Bush, went on a regiment of the antibiotic Cipro to ward up anthrax, unquote, which suggests anthrax attack was the backup process if remote hijacking failed because PR-92 of New York City had hundreds of people from FEMA, Federal Emergency Management Agency, from the federal government from the state, from the state emergency management office, preparing for a drill for biological attack on September 12, 2001. God bless Americans and all citizens to stand tall for truth and justice, for peace and harmony in our heavenly world.